Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Todd from Nova Vision. Welcome to Vision Restoration Therapy, or VRT. You know, the hardest part of any therapy program is getting started, and you've done that. So let's go. We here at Nova Vision have put together this introductory video, as well as a number of other ones you'll see today, to get you more comfortable with the evaluation process to start, the testing, and then the therapy in months to come. But remember, the definitive guide to all safety and setup issues, as well as any questions that you have about VRT, are included in the VRT user's manual. It was included with your device, and it's important that you go over this material before you start. If you need to, make sure that someone else goes over it with you. While you're watching this introductory video, it's fine to relax, sit back, share this with someone else. But when it's time to do the evaluation sessions and your VRT later, pick your spot carefully. It's important to find a chair and table that allows you to sit comfortably for 15 or 20 minutes at a time without stooping or stretching. Also, it's important while you're performing therapy to keep your chin and your forehead firmly placed in that headrest. And also, occasionally, you're going to want to clean that chin rest too. An alcohol wipe or soap and water should be fine. A dimly lit room is important for performing VRT. About as dark as a movie theater would be perfect. Because you'll be performing VRT therapy on a display that is at about reading distance, it's important that you use whatever reading glasses you traditionally like to wear for reading printed material. We want you to see the screen as clearly as possible. Of course, if you read well with no glasses, then doing therapy that way should be fine too. Your introduction to VRT will take three stages. Today, after this video, you'll sit for a series of evaluation tests. You're not being graded, don't worry. They're simply there for the device to learn more about you, your visual needs, your response patterns, in order to construct an accurate diagnostic test battery. That way we can map your vision loss. When you're finished with the evaluation sessions today, there'll be longer, more intense testing tomorrow and the next day, maybe in the morning, the afternoon, and then the following morning. Those tests are important. They'll look a lot like the ones that you do today, a bit longer, 15 or 20 minutes, but that is how we learn how to map your therapy exactly for you. When you've completed that and sent the results to NovaVision, after a couple of days, you'll receive your therapy and you'll be able to start your daily sessions of VRT for the next 30 days. Well, before you start your evaluation session today or VRT in general, it's important that you know how to navigate your way through the program. It's pretty easy. In order to start a session, today or in the future when you're doing your VRT, you simply hover over the start bar with your cursor and click it. Your session will begin. If you've finished your diagnostic testing, or you're finished with a 30-day set of uh, therapy modules, you simply click on the Send Results bar and NovaVision will receive your data. If you're waiting for new therapy to arrive, that's easy too. Simply hover over the Retrieve Therapy and your results will be downloaded to the device. If you need help, if you have any questions or if you want to see any of the instructional videos again to clarify things, you can do that by clicking on the help bar. If you want to shut down the device if you're done for the day, don't want to waste energy, that's fine too. Simply hover over the shut down device bar and it will. Lastly, if you need to contact NovaVision, and we're glad to hear from you, if you have any questions or problems, please don't hesitate to call. To get that information on how to reach us, simply click on the contact NovaVision bar and we're there for you. Studies have shown that the majority of VRT patients actually have noticeable changes in their vision within the first few months of therapy. Now to keep you up on that, NovaVision supplies both you the patient as well as your prescribing physician monthly progress reports with important information about how you've changed over that module. Included in the report are graphics that depict where your vision loss was when you started therapy and where it was at the end of the month being reported. Usually there's a change. Also important are some numbers that we supply you with. An important one to start with is fixation accuracy. What that is, is a depiction of how good you were at focusing your vision on the spot in the center of the screen and responding when it changed. Another important one is called false positives. That tells us how often you responded 
when there wasn't anything present on the screen. It tells us how dependable the results are. Lastly, there's stimulus accuracy. That told us how many spots that were presented on the screen you actually saw accurately. Remember, that isn't always a measure of how well you're doing because as month to month goes by, the challenge of your therapy may get harder and harder. So if you're getting the same readout two months in a row, it may very well be that you did just the same, but with a much harder task, and that's a good thing. Although in today's test evaluation sessions that'll follow, it's a good idea to try to get straight through without quitting. When you do actual VRT therapy in the coming months, taking breaks is fine and it can help. Sessions are usually 15 to 20 minutes, but a rest can, can really help you concentrate. So at some time during your session, when you're doing therapy, if you wanna pause, that's fine. Sit back, stretch, take a breather. It is a good idea to stay in the dark room with the lights down. However, if you do have to get up and move around the house, when you come back, make sure the lights go back down and you give yourself four or five minutes to adjust before starting your therapy again. Another good tip for VRT sessions is to get rest. VRT therapy takes concentration. Even though you're sitting still, it can be hard work. It takes energy. So it's usually best to be well rested before starting a session. You'll always do better on VRT if you're fresh. We humans have several layers of tears on our eyes that help them stay fresh and healthy and also help them stay optically clear and those layers are refreshed and reinforced by blinking. When we're reading or concentrating on things, we tend to blink much less often and as a result the tears break down. While you're doing therapy, if you can remember, try to blink quickly and frequently. When you're starting VRT, like with any therapy, it's a good idea to get somebody else involved with the project. Those who have involved loved ones or spouses or even a caregiver tend to have a much better VRT experience. If for any reason these tutorial videos miss something or there's something you still don't understand, in fact, if you have any question about VRT in general, call us. We're glad to hear from you. We have a department dedicated just to your questions, client and patient services, and it's staffed by very well-trained and frankly very nice folks. Here's an important one. If you're like me, you sometimes get so wrapped up with what you're doing that you forget important things. With VRT, it's a good idea to set up a routine so that you have the same time of day every day when you're going to sit down and do therapy, morning and afternoon perhaps. In general, it helps you remember to do therapy, you'll have less missed sessions, and generally enjoy the experience more. One study showed that patients who listen to music during therapy, music of their choice, found no detraction from the effect of the therapy. In fact, it may even have helped. So if you've got music that you enjoy listening to that's relaxing, feel free to play it during your therapy sessions. Just make sure you can hear the sounds of the program while you're doing your therapy. If it's safe for you to drink coffee or tea, a little bit of that might help with staying alert during therapy. Remember, VRT is therapy. And just like any other kind of therapy you may have had, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, it can be work. You get out what you put in. So even though you're sitting still for much of it, you can get tired. And I know, you can get frustrated sometimes. That's normal. All you have to do is remember that a little frustration or boredom is normal. If you have to miss a session once in a great while, it's not the end of the world. But try to hang in there because consistency is everything in therapy. Remember, every session you complete is another, another step closer to regaining your vision. If you get a little bit discouraged or frustrated, remember, it can hurt to share your feelings with somebody else, maybe a, a caretaker or a loved one. They're there to help you, and sometimes just a little encouragement can go a long way. You know, an important part of entering therapy is setting up expectations, and more importantly, realistic expectations. When you're starting this, you may want to keep your mind on a couple of successful goals that you want to achieve. For instance, uh, being able to read a book all at once, being able to see a whole television screen, being able to move around your home or go to the store and move around without bumping into things. Those are very attainable goals with VRT. If you're looking to win the Indy 500, you may be shooting a little bit high. 
Many of the folks who have completed VRT in the past and their families as well report that they feel more like their old selves again. They've recaptured more of their old identity. They feel more independent, they feel more alert, and they're able to do more of the things they used to. The, the, the treatment has made a significant difference in my approach to uh, all activities, particularly where you have to mingle with people or the like. Uh, I'm very comfortable now, which I was not before, because I was always afraid I was going to bump into somebody or vice versa. Um, seeing only half the room, you never know where the people are that are coming from your left, or in my case, the left. And it certainly uh, made a big difference.